I'm so excited because nobody apart from the developers has so far seen or used this device. I'm on a journey into the future of transportation. The 21st century has transformed the skyline of London and now a British social enterprise wants to revolutionise the streets of the capital and other cities around the UK and the world. The designers say they've come up with a cycling innovation that could change the face of modern travel and they've invited me to test it out on a ride downstream beside the Thames from here in the heart of London to the wide open spaces of Greenwich Park. The code name for this project is TK1, short for Think Tank 1. It's so radical and commercially sensitive that I've had to sign a non-disclosure agreement and Doug, the director, is under strict instructions not to reveal the inner workings of the invention. During the coronavirus crisis, it's become clear that there's a lot of appetite for people swapping four wheels for two. But, of course, if you've not been on a bike for years, then actually the challenge of cycling against a strong wind or up a steep hill is going to put you off a bit. And that's where TK1 comes into its own. Basically, TK1 follows a grand tradition of UK engineering innovation. It's a kit that can be retrofitted to any bicycle, more or less, enabling you to get that extra bit of help that's so important when you're cycling. TK1 is in the final stages of testing and it's hoped to enter mass production soon. And I wonder what the implications will be. I've invited along Anna Hughes, one of the UK's leading environmental campaigners and a bike mechanic, to get her view of this new development. It feels totally mad. <laughs> it's the kind of, um, it's very novel, it's very fun very powerful, I can really feel it. <laughs> when you press the turbo button, it really goes some. So yeah, it's quite exciting, quite an exciting way to ride. <laughs> I used to cycle 26 miles to work. I don't expect everybody else to do that, but an electric bike might make that kind of journey accessible to some more people. If you can upgrade your own bike, then that's a good thing. Not everybody would be able to buy a new electric bike. So yeah, this definitely would help with that. Overall, in the general picture of transportation, I'm hoping this will help. <laughs> Other electric bikes are available whether you want to buy or hire one of the rent it here, leave it there e-cycles that are becoming a familiar sight on the streets of London and other cities around Britain and the world. But one advantage of the new invention is that there are no geographical limits to where you can take it. Built for speed and effortlessly elegant. No, not me, the Cutty Sark here beside the river in Greenwich and a good place to tell you about the technical specifications of TK1. The system uses a 250 watt mid-drive motor that produces a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour. That's about 15 miles an hour. And as for range, well it's always difficult with any electric vehicle to say precisely but if you're prepared to do your fair share of pedalling then you can cover 50 miles 80 kilometers very comfortably. The grand entrance to the great outdoors in the shape of Greenwich Park, my absolute favourite open space in London, and where I'm going to talk to a cyclist or two, see what they think. It's, it's a no-brainer, you know, it's, uh, especially when you climb that hill, it was, you know, the effort I was putting in is, I spent like 5% effort for climbing that hill, which is usually most people, some people would actually walk, you know, and, uh, and there's an option to, to, to switch it off as well and, and work out, so which is good. Yeah, it was a really enjoyable ride. I've used some electric bikes before and it's, um, 
I preferred this one. It's a bit more kind of a bit more intuitive, and you can control the power because some of the ones that I've used before, you just cycle and it automatically gives you power. And it's actually a bit, I don't know, it's a bit, a bit clunky and a bit, um, bit jarring. But this is quite nice because it's smooth, and if you actually want some power, you can have it. If not, you can just ride. So yeah, I actually prefer this. It's nice. I just don't have the money to invest in an e-bike, but if it was something you know like this that you could afford, it would be amazing. It would sort of turn people's life around, I think. I think the benefit you get from the power it gives you, um, it just makes life so much easier. My journey today is ending appropriately enough at the place where humanity's framework of time and motion begins. Now, I'm genuinely excited about the way that this innovation is making personal transportation more accessible and more affordable and allowing us to make more of the world.